Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free, oh my sweet baby What's up, Zay family? Welcome back to another vlog. Yes, sir. And today we're here with Shreen Auntie. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, so, and we're here with Zairu too. Too. Nice. But so, Zairu's only here for the intro because wow, I'm going like to go that. make I, her sleep. You're getting more comfortable on camera. I know it's I a know. weird thing. It's a, yeah. super weird. Otherwise, <laughs> we're always hiding, right? <laughs> so what I hear today is there's going to be a quick, quick meal that we're going to make, right? Yeah. Chicken korma. Chicken korma. Fast. Mm -hmm. Chicken korma. Like, fast chicken korma. How fast are we talking about? <laughs> um, like half an hour or oh, 30 minutes. That's pretty quick. Yeah. You, you know, usually it takes about an hour or 45 minutes. We're going to do it in the cooker. Okay. And this is like a, like an easy, very easy recipe and very delicious. So you guys can try to at home. Perfect. Let's do it. And this baby yeah. will cook while you go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> no? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, so we have some olive oil going in here. No, it's uh, avocado oil. Um, mm -hmm. How much is that roughly? Like uh, half of this. Which is like what? Two <laughs> tablespoons? No, no, I it'd mean... be like about four tablespoons. Okay, because a person like me would be like picking up the wrong spoon. Yeah, and, you four know? tablespoons of avocado oil. Four tablespoons, and then, and then we I have. I usually add a little bit of the ghee. Okay, and like ghee? a ghee, you can say two tablespoons. Okay, ghee is like what gives it maybe some richness to it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I have a question for you. Does olive oil or any other type of oil make a difference in food taste? Yes, it does. Okay, so you got to be careful because yes. I guess a different tasting oils, maybe ghee tastes different. different than, yeah. Ghee is an oil too, right? I, um, ghee uh, yes. is uh, much better to use yeah. in Indian food, especially when you're making kormas. In the... So you can add half like uh, oils. Any cooking oil and, and then, then add ghee to it. Ghee to it yeah. Okay, nice. The uh, three onions cut in. Three onions cut into small pieces. pieces. Medium size onions, do you think? Yeah. You know, sometimes onions are big, small. Medium size onion, not too big, not too small. Just the yeah. right size. Right. And are we gonna brown this? Yes. Okay. Brown these and then yeah. this is like a three green chilies cut okay but i'm going to add like one green chili right now like one third basically so this is coriander yeah and how much of uh, that just one uh hand bunch of one bunch of coriander uh, and, and uh, that's maybe just one tomato medium size medium size medium size nice and then this what do we have here ginger garlic paste how much of that uh three tablespoons okay and this is red chili two teaspoon mm -hmm. and uh, this is garam, garam masala, masala is two tablespoon mm -hmm. uh, zira powder one teaspoon okay and uh, this is uh, haldi uh, turmeric yeah, half a teaspoon half a teaspoon okay. yeah. and is that everything and this is uh Pattar ka phool, I don't know That's what you call it. It's called Pattar ka phool. Okay. Uh, I added, but this is my mom's recipe. She would not use this, but it's like I added. So I guess uh, that masala or the root or whatever yeah, this is. Yeah, it's called Pattar ka phool. It's optional. So if you can find it, great, use it. But if uh, you don't, then it's, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. So one teaspoon of salt. I use it in the beginning so that helps. Uh, with the onion to get done faster yeah you add the salt before okay uh, ginger garlic is... paste okay all right so we also have the heat on high so far yeah and then so we do it fast okay so before we forget, this was three fourths of a chicken, basically that's been cleaned. Now we're gonna add the turmeric, the haldi, and that's it. That's it, and then you know. What happens if we put all of this in there? Uh, no, you don't. You add one after the other. Like when the chicken will go, then I put red chili powder, and then the last this two. Okay, so you can't be like me and yeah. just dump it in. Yeah. It's a bad idea. Don't dump yeah. it in all together. 
Does it open up the flavors a little bit yeah, if you do it slowly? Yeah, because this has to be bunot nicely. Yeah. Then only the flavors come out. Okay. If it's kacha, like, you know, the adrak lesson and the haldi, mm -hmm. then the flavors is It's not as strong, I strong, see. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Then you Next, uh, add the tomatoes. Tomatoes. Every few minutes, we're just adding something new, like two, three minutes. And yeah, just bunot and then add because it's on a high flame, so we will be doing it fast that okay. way. And then you do two, three CT and open, and it's done. Okay. CT? Did you say CT? <laughs> yeah. CT for the it's pressure. For the cooker. Oh, okay, I was like, I was like, what is that? <laughs> so I guess when the cooker blows the whistle thingy, yeah, yeah CT whistle, is a good yeah. thing. Three, two, three times, and it's basically ready. Is that ready, what it is? Yeah. Okay. So guys, this is my part for today. Basically, the, all the stuff was pre-cut, but I will take credit for mixing this right now for five seconds. All right, chicken time. Is this bone? This is not boneless, right? Yeah, no, no, no boneless. No. It's with bone. It's with bone, whole chicken. You just cut, chicken. yeah. The red chili powder. Adding red chili powder. Here it goes. I'm guessing we'll mix it. So right now we're adding uh, half a cup of water. Half a cup. Of water. Okay. Just to uh, make it more, more gravy kind of stuff. Yeah. So the other thing we're going to add is one cup of yogurt as well to make a, like a gravy basically. Okay, so we put a little bit of water and, and the yogurt. And it's because it's chunky you were just saying, right? Yeah, if you don't do it properly, then the yogurt breaks like, you know, like it becomes, it, it's not good. It's not good? Yeah, so you have to play to it nicely so that it doesn't get... Uh, do you mean so it holds and it remains thick? It remains like this. Like this. Yeah. Otherwise it will be chunky. Yeah, it will be chunky. Yeah. So just a little oh, bit more is, information. Uh, yeah. uh, Akronko just told me that you have the yogurt that's, you know, it's chunky. So what happens is if you put it in like that, it breaks into like fat. And so there's like little chunks in it basically. But it, because you want a, a proper consistency, you want to beat the yogurt like that and so it's smooth and it go and it has a, a good texture to it. You don't want to feel chunks of fat inside your your curry or your salad or whatever it is. Same thing you were saying, just a little bit yeah. more detail. Yeah. yeah. Behind the scenes from uh, from <laughs> I mean at the end of the day, as long as it tastes good, right? Yeah. We'll we'll just follow what's like happening. Home, yeah. Just want to throw in a side note there, we started a new Zed Jewels YouTube channel where we're posting a lot about our work and processes and you know the, the scaling issues that are that are happening. It's entertaining, funny, and stressful at the same time. So please do go follow Zed Jewels on YouTube. Our video is already live there and uh, please do subscribe, it'll be amazing. Look who decided to join us. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find her bottom and my dad's like, oh, I kept it downstairs, watch oh, really? who kept it. I'm like, oh. Okay, so, so now we're next putting up. the garam masala mm -hmm. and the jeer powder. Jeer powder, okay. And the patarka pool. Yeah, this is, uh, we have to Google what that is. <laughs> so it's Patar called patarka pool, and my mom said you can mostly find it only in India. And <laughs> so we said it's like an she, option, right? Yeah, she actually bought yeah. it from India. So I was like, this That's is your secret. little secret. Everyone, that you've been wherever you find this patarka pool, just. Take it. <laughs> That's the secret. What else did you use it in? I'm the sure. Okay, the patar kapul goes. Ah, I usually use it in. Uh, I make um, tomato ki kadi. Yeah. yeah. So I use in that too. Oh. Yeah. It's such a funny name, patar kapul. You know. Patar kadil. Who's patar who's heart kapool. like broke or that? It sounds like that. a Bollywood like yeah. movie ki line. Like yeah. okay, kapool. so we can put a oh. uh, little bit half of. The uh, coriander. Yeah, like the bundle of it. Yeah, half. And we leave the half for the... See the after afterwards? Afterwards, yeah. Okay. Garnish. Nice. And so then I've good. made the 
heat on uh, very low, low? Okay. because you should never put the yogurt on high speed let it cool down a little bit oh. before you add the yogurt otherwise the yo yogurt same thing happens like it gets breaks. chunky breaks yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I learned something new today. Apparently, you know, you, you know, you take the yogurt. You know yeah. how if you just dump it in like that? Yeah. Your dad came in and kind of explained, your mom was explaining too, that it burnt, becomes like fat little chunky things. Oh. And if you want a good, clean consistency and texture, you got to beat it like to this. a smooth consistency and then put it. Wow. Amazing. My lazy ass is just the most. <laughs> yeah. Him. Forget that. They're putting it. one masala at a time. I'm dumping all of them. <laughs> and then on top of that, I don't even beat it. I just mix it all into yeah. the masala, and I'm like, there we go. Voila, my hey, piece of art. It's okay. It's good. It's good. <laughs> but now I know why. Mommy, one time masala made. Uh, uh, what did you make? No, I made. Uh, I, it was on YouTube too. I forgot what I was making. It was some chicken. Was yeah, chicken something like that. Yeah, yeah, chicken karai. And he just put all the masalas, right? Yeah, yeah. And with the chicken. And he did <laughs> Even like put like garlic and ginger in first fire. You just took the chicken, put like, all the masala. I was supposed <laughs> to do it at the end. Really good still. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I might have to dispute this slow putting of masala, but I don't know. I'm not a cook. Yeah. So you mix everything. Okay. And the, you, okay. And leave always, it on low heat. Now I'm going to pressure cook the whole. Oh, thing. pressure cook on low heat? No, medium. What? So pressure cook. It really depends on the pressure cooker you have. You guys probably already used it, so you know how long your pressure cooker takes to cook different meats because chicken is faster and beef is longer but um, it's and about 10 minutes right yeah your mom's. my mom is gonna keep the pressure cooker on for 10 minutes okay nice and then is that it then i don't know is that, i think so. i think so right once yeah. the pressure cooker is done right yes wow. i know you just remove put it into uh, a slow flame for five minutes yeah and then it's done wow. i'm hungry already i'm Fun. gonna go make that little one sweet okay good luck Okay. Just open the pressure cooker. Pressure cooker. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to add the green chilies. Okay, the remaining green chilies are going in there. So, we leave it for five minutes. Five minutes simmering on uh, medium heat. Okay. So See, we're... and the, the ghee, the tail is come up now. So that oh. means your mm -hmm. curry yeah. is done. Yeah. And then the last is you add the rest of the dhania. On low heat, very low heat, right? Very low point. heat. And this is, your curry is done. Acha, so once the oil comes up, it basically means it's complete, right? It's complete, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you just taste the salt mm -hmm. and uh, that's it and it's done. Right, I was told to... Test the salt. I'm the worst salt tester ever. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's good. It's good. And you can taste all the spices. So, mm -hmm. wow. No, I, I like it. I don't know what the salt, but the, I think everything is good to me. Perfect, right? Yeah, we'll get some other try. It's, it's so, really good. And so it has fast. a kick and it has like a spicy kick to it. Exactly. So, and it's so fast. Yeah. And it's done in like 20, 25 minutes. Honestly, basically. you have to try it. I'm going to do a taste test with Sana too. Yeah, we, we eat it with, the, we fry the papad and mm -hmm. the dhaika sukamirchi. Okay. So you, we fry it with, in the oil. All of this, and, right? Yes, yeah, all right. this and it goes with the... Nice. And then they make kari dal also with it. Mm -hmm. Next time I will show you the recipe of kari dal. <laughs> yeah, so that this one. is a typical Hyderabadi uh, way of eating. Yeah, daily dish basically. Yeah. Okay, nice. So we, we have at least two, three... Things, things on the table. table. Yeah, yeah it's, I mean, yeah, it's a lot of I effort, but it's good. I fry bindi and aloo yeah, also yeah, with it. Yeah, so, yeah. Those are really good too. We yeah. made those actually. Those are your recipes on the channel. So yes. So, so if you guys have tried those crispy potatoes, potatoes. Uh, or uh, fried uh, bindi, bindi was it there too as well. It's really, really good.